بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Today we will talk about two groups of uh, common groups of skin diseases. The group of parasitic infections of the skin. We will talk about scales and pediculosis. And in the group of allergic skin diseases, we will talk about alcaria and papular alcaria. A 31-year-old man is complaining of itching, which is worse by night uh, of three weeks duration. Two days ago, his wife also started to scratch her skin, especially during sleep. Can you answer? Here we have a patient complaining of itching, which is worse by night. This is a characteristic uh, data or character of uh, itching of scabies. Also, his wife became infected, and this also suggests scabies, which is uh, one of the uh, highly infectious skin diseases. So the most probable diagnosis is scabies. The answer of the other questions. Will be seen in the last part of the so in the group of parasitic skin diseases we talk about scabies and pediculosis. Scabies is a, a contagious or highly infectious skin disease caused by sarcoscabion mite. Uh, actually, uh, the, uh, who, who is responsible for the infection by the scabies is the uh, fertilized female of Sarcoptis cabiana. The fertilized female, during laying eggs, it digs tunnels inside the horny layer, which is the very superficial layer of uh, the uh, epidermis, uh, to lay down eggs. So it will form the primary lesion of uh, the disease, which is the bite. The mode of infection, direct infection from infected patient or infected animal, or indirect uh, through uh, the use of infected bed towels and clothes. Incubation period from two weeks up to two months. The pathognomonic lesion is the burrow. Uh, the burrow is seen as a grayish white ridge uh, of uh, half up to one and a half centimeter in size, taking S shape or C shape. Unfortunately, burrow is usually not seen in most of cases due to its uh, uh, disturbance by the scratching, the act of scratching due to itching. Uh, the patient will complain of severe itching, which is more by night. Uh, it is more by night because the uh, movement of the sarcoptis cabiae mite is stimulated by worms which occurs to the body surface during sleep. The lesions uh, are polymorphic, non-specific, but the specific is the uh, distribution or the size the sites of the regions. This is the uh, distribution of scabetic lesions. Uh, first, the lesions are distributed bilaterally and symmetrically. Uh, the pathognomonic site is the web's 
are the webs of fingers. Then the flexor aspects of wrist joint and cubital fossa, axillary, affection around the umbilicus, medial aspects of thighs and dorsi of feet. We can add in females the areola of the breast and in males the genitalia of males. The lesions are polymorphic, may be scratch marks, papular lesions, excoriated papules, may be eczematous lesions in uh, the breast of females. And in infants, we may see vesicles in palms and soles, vesicles and bully in palms and soles of infants. This is the barrow. As we see, it takes curved line with one end, there is a vesicle. At this uh, side, uh, if we uh, moisten the skin by potassium hydroxide 15% and scrap the lesions and see the scrapped material under microscope, we will see the sarcopsis cabiae mite and its eggs. Or directly by dermoscope, which is a magnifying uh, apparatus that can be uh, put directly on the skin, we can see the uh, mite and its products inside the bulb. The site here is in the uh, medial aspect of middle finger. This is the scrap the material from Baru when are seen under microscope. This is Sarcoptis cabiae mite. The size of uh, the mite is 0.2 uh, up to 0.4 millimeter in size and these are the eggs of the mine. Also the mite of the Cops cabioi. Here is the affection of the classic sites by polymorphic lesions, uh, the pathognomonic lesions as we see the uh, webs of fingers. In the webs of fingers, we can see uh, scratch lines, uh, crusted lesions, which are uh, due to secondary bacteria infection and type of lesion, erythematous arterial papules, and scratch marks. So, polymorphic lesions, but in pathognomonic size, the width of fingers. Also, crested lesions here on the uh, webs of fingers. Also, scratch marks. This is the Coptis cabiae mite under microscope. These are different forms of barrows, reach of uh, S shape or C shape. Uh, the size is uh, half up to one and a half centimeter in size. And these are not seen frequently uh, in cases of escapes due to disturbance of the, uh, le uh, the lesions of the barrow by uh, the scratching due to each. But these are the lesions that we can see, affection of webs of fingers by scratch marks Erythematous papular lesions, also webs of finger with uh, papular lesions and scratch marks. Erythematous lesions and scratch mark here in the webs of finger. This is a barrow on the side of uh, the head, uh, the hand, taking C shape. It's another barrow in the web of toes. This is a palm of a child, an infant. In infant, there is affection of palm and sores 
which are not affected in adults due to delicate skins in uh, uh, infants. Uh, the lesions are in the form of uh, vesicles and bulgy. These are ruptured bulgy. Also, papules and scratch marks around the webs of fingers. Also, this is a barrel, which is usually not seen in most of cases. Uh, scratch marks and papular lesions, crusted lesions around the umbilicus. Affection of axillary, polymorphic lesions, also scratch marks and papular lesions, crust lesion. This is a special form of uh, scabies known as nodular scabies. After uh, successful treatment of scabies, the patient may continue to itch. There are nodular lesions, nodules mean palpable lesions with characteristic dimension of depth. The depth of lesion is uh, equal or more than uh, the uh, superficial diameter of the lesion. Nodules, uh, reddish brown in color, itchy, and they continue to itch after successful treatment of scabies, usually occurs in infants and young children. It occurs on the axillary around the umbilicus in the groin and uh, it is due to uh, allergic reaction to uh, the previous sarcoptoscopy uh, 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 infection. Also scratch marks and their symptoms papules in the webs of fingers in cases of scabies, affection of the wrist joint, scratch marks, symptoms papules and crusted lesions, here, affection of webs of tooth, scratch marks and papules, and uh, vesicular bullous lesions on the sole of an infant. All these are pictures of skin. Also, lesions around the umbilicus, scratch marks and the crusted lesions. Here. So clinical types of scabies, uh, the pictures, uh, previous pictures are of the human classic uh, scabies. Uh, animal scabies is due to uh, infection by uh, Sarkov's cabioid uh, var canis in cases of infection from dogs or cats, uh, and uh, or scabies, uh, Sarkov's cabioid uh, var avium in cases of infection from the feathers of birds. In this case, the sarcoptic caviar mite of animals or of birds uh, is uh, qualified to live in feathers of birds or fur of uh, animal. They cannot uh, dig tunnels inside the horny layer of the skin like sar uh, human sar uh, sarcoptic scabiae mite bar hominis, which infect uh, men. So, uh, in cases of exposure to uh, animals with uh, animal scabies, uh, there will be itching once the patient uh, will uh, uh, expose to these uh, animals. Uh, so, there is a short incubation period. It's a type of uh, allergic reaction to insect bite once the patient is exposed to the uh, insect. Uh, it is a self-limited disease because, uh, as we said before, they will not dig tunnels, so they will not continue their uh, life cycle and not uh, reach to the uh, nymph uh, phase, which is the infectious phase. Uh, it will not be transmitted from man to man. Uh, the characteristic site uh, affected in uh, human type scabies are not affected here in animal scabies like the webs of fingers and genitalia uh, and as we said before there is no bug. Other types of scabies, scabies in infants and young children is characterized by infection of palm and soul which are not affected in uh, uh, adults. 
uh, the lesions are in the form of uh, vesiculobulous uh, lesions. Scabies incognito, this is steroid modified uh, scabies. Uh, the patient uh, with scabies has received uh, topical or systemic treatment with steroids. So at the time you see the patient, the lesions will be uh, exceeding the uh, classic sites of uh, human scabies. Uh, as we say before, uh, in classic scabies, the back is free and the buttocks only are affected. You can see in those patients, in cases of scabies incognito, that the lesions extend to affect all the back beside the buttocks. Uh, scabies inclined is the opposite of scabies incognito. Here the patient uh, usually have uh, frequent uh, washing and frequent bathing. So at the time you will see the patient, there will be uh, very few numbers of lesions. The scabies in bed ridden is like scabies, uh, classic scabies, but uh, the lesions are more at sight of contact with uh, bed. Uh, venereal scabies is like also classic scabies, but uh, the mode of transmission may be uh, sexually transmitted, and in this case, we must search for other sexually transmitted diseases like syphilis and gonorrhea. Uh, Norwegian scabies is a very severe form of uh, scabies. It usually occurs in mentally retarded patients, patients with defective sensation, and uh, in immune compromised patients, like patients uh, with uh, primary immune deficiency disease or patients uh, under treatment with corticosteroid or immune suppressive drugs. Uh, in those patients, there uh, will be uh, crusted uh, lesions, uh, extensive erythroderma, uh, uh, meaning erythema and scaling, covering more than 85% of uh, body surface uh, area. Uh, this patient uh, may be uh, uh, exposed to uh, severe illness uh, due to increased uh, uh, capillary uh, vascular uh, permeability uh, and decreased cardiac output and uh, there will be also uh, disturbance of electrolyte and routine. Uh, so those patients need hospitalization and aggressive treatment of uh, scabies. Also the under the nails and the palm and sole are uh, the, uh, covered by trusted lesions. Uh, in nodular scabies, as we seen, uh, have seen before, uh, this is an allergic condition uh, to scabies. After successful treatment of scabies, the patient has erythematous nodules, which are itchy, uh, usually present in the axilla around the umbilicus and in the groin. Usually occurs in a chest. This is nodular scabies, nodules in the axilla that uh, continue uh, to each after successful treatment of scabies. Scabies in infancy characterized by vesicles, vesicular lesions, visible accumulation of clear fluids within the epidermis of uh, up to half centimeter in size, and bully, which are larger than half centimeter, and these are ruptured bully, eroded areas, and palm and sole of infant. Also, the sole of infant with scabies, with woolly here. Also, sole of infant with scabies, scabies in infancy. This is the crusted or Norwegian scabies, the severe form of scabies with erythroderma, retina and scaling covering more than 85% body surface area. With crusted lesions, you see the crust. These crusts are uh, carrying uh, thousands of mites, and the uh, single patient may cause an epidemic of scabies. Also, the erythema with, with scaling and crusted lesions of crusted scabies. So, the diagnosis of scabies uh, must contain severe itching, 
which is moved by night and we have said why it is moved by night uh, there will be more than one member affected because it's a highly contagious disease the classic distribution as we said before uh, the webs of fingers flexor aspects of wrist joint bilateral symmetrical distribution of uh, affection of the flexures of wrist anterior fossa axillary uh, the affection around the umbilicus the back is free with the buttocks affected medial aspects of uh, side dorsi of feet uh, and uh, besides these we will add uh, the areola of the breast in female and the male genitalia. This is a classic distribution which is a characteristic sign for uh, escapes. But the lesions are polymorphic. We can see scratch marks, uh, erythematous uh, articarial uh, papules, uh, excoriated papules, uh, secondary bacterial infection in the form of pustules, crusted lesions, and so on. Uh, the uh, diagnostic uh, sign is a demonstration of mild if we uh, are uh, lucky and can see one mild we can uh, moist the mild uh, the, the barrow if we see the barrow we will moist the barrow by uh, potassium hydroxide 15 percent and scrap the lesions as we'll see the mild uh, under microscope or its products like the eggs of uh, mild or uh, directly by dermoscope on the barrow, we can see the mite and its products inside the barrow. Complications of scabies, bacteria infection. Uh, it is uh, one of the features or the characteristic features of scabies to see crusted lesions or the pustules which are uh, due to secondary bacterial infection. But more severe bacterial infection may occur like boils, uh, abscesses, uh, cellulitis and erythritis. Uh, eczema may be but also features of uh, scabies in cases of females, especially on the areola of uh, the breast, uh, but it may complicate scabies if the patient get uh, contact dermatitis against uh, the anti-scabetic uh, drugs. In this uh, uh, condition, uh, the patient will uh, complain of uh, itching or and burning sensation during uh, application of the anti-scabetic. Acarophobia is uh, a psychiatric uh, condition. The patient has uh, a false feeling of uh, 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 being infected by insect inside his skin. Uh, here, the patient uh, has no scabies, but it, uh, he needs uh, psychiatric consultation for these delusions or false beliefs. Differential diagnosis of scabies from other itchy conditions. Only scabies is uh, have uh, is uh, described by uh, polymorphic eruptions, but uh, the other diseases, itchy diseases, uh, have monomorphic uh, picture. Like papillary anticaria, all the patient, uh, all the lesions will be like each other: erythematous, edematous, uh, itchy papules. Uh, in cases of eczema, there is erythema, papillomyositis, itching, oozing, and crustacean. Uh, uh, in cases of erythema multiform, all the lesions are like each other. They may be uh, iris lesion or uh, the iris lesion with a darker uh, point inside the uh, erythematous multipapillar uh, lesion of erythema multiform, which may occur due to uh, reaction to uh, herpes simplex uh, virus or other uh, viruses or a reaction to uh, drug. Uh, so we'll have uh, the target lesion or the iris lesion. The iris lesion will be uh, visible inside the, uh, uh, in the center of uh, the uh, erythematous uh, macrocapule of erythema multiform. Treatment of scabies, 
we must give the patient instruction of disinfecting all clothes, uh, uh, linens, and uh, towels. And uh, all the members of the family should be treated uh, together to eradicate the infection. The antiscabetic, atopical uh, antiscabetic, like uh, gamma benzene hexafluoride 1%, uh, percent or benzide benzoid 25%. Uh, percent. These uh, first two uh, topical treatments uh, are not suitable for infants uh, or pregnant or lactating uh, females uh, because there may be toxic ab uh, absorption of these substances and uh, that will cause uh, epilepsy or other neurologic uh, side effects. Uh, so in infants and uh, in uh, uh, lactating or pregnant females or uh, in cases with secondary bacterial infection we can use the other uh, lines like sulfur uh, ointment 5% uh, in children and 10% in adults uh, uh, crotamitone 10% or permethrin 5% the application will be for uh, the whole body except the head and the neck uh, over to, uh, night and washing in uh, the morning for two successive nights and four successive nights in cases of sulfur on. Systemic treatment in the form of antihistamine for itching, antibiotic if there is secondary bacterial infection. We can give anti scabetic systemic drug like ivermectin and the dose is six milligram or one tablet per 15 kilogram body weight. Uh, in cases of uh, crusted scabies, we must give the patient systemic anti scabetic beside topical anti scabetic beside salicylic acid 3% uh, as a keratolytic, uh, and the dose must be repeated after one week. Nodular scabies uh, can be, uh, we can wait for a few months if there is no uh, resolution of the lesion, we can give intralesional injection of corticosteroid. If the patient has uh, persistent itching after treatment, we can think of uh, persistence of the hypersensitivity state because all the lesions of uh, scabies uh, except the paro are due to allergic reaction to the mite and its products. Uh, so uh, we can wait for two weeks if there is persistence of itching, so we can uh, think of unsuccessful treatment. We must repeat the instruction and repeat the uh, antiscabetic. We may shift to other topical antiscabetic. Uh, the patient may have irritation to antiscabetic. In this case, he will complain of uh, burning sensation during application of the antiscabetic. So shift to less uh, sensitizing antiscabetic like uh, the crotamitone 10%, which also have antiperiodic effect. Uh, acarophobia, uh, we, we may think of it if the patient uh, continues uh, to uh, think of uh, an insect inside his skin uh, uh, with, uh, without any uh, manifestations of uh, escapes, and this patient needs a psychiatric consultation. Uh, Reinfection, uh, this may be due to uh, uh, the uh, 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 if the, if the patient doesn't follow uh, the instruction by treatment or the members of the family together, uh, so he may uh, be reinfected from other members of the family. So we must repeat the instruction and repeat uh, the treatment for all the members of the family and the uh, disinfection of all linens and clothes. Uh, pediculosis is a disease caused by louse. Uh, the types of pediculosis are pediculosis capitis affecting the scalp hair, 
Peter Cruz's uh, corpus in this condition the uh, uh, laws are present in the clusus and they visit the skin because this is an ins uh, a blood sucking insect it visits the uh, skin uh, bites in the skin and return back to uh, the clothes. Uh, this occurs usually in the neglected uh, persons like uh, uh, the uh, uh, street uh, children and so on uh, the treatment will be the exchange of all these clothes by new clothes. This will be the treatment of cases of pediculosis for COVID. Uh, in case of pediculosis pubis, this, uh, uh, in this condition, the louse is infecting the uh, pubic hair. Uh, this may be sexually transmitted disease or may be infected by sharing uh, towels. Uh, uh, by sharing uh, uh, toilet seats and so on. Uh, here, uh, besides the pubic hair, it may extend towards the whole body uh, hair or affecting uh, the eyebrows even and eyelashes. Uh, this is uh, pediculosis in a child. Uh, the uh, board of infection is uh, via sharing of uh, heads, uh, combs, or uh, in children they usually uh, sharing the, their activities and they, they uh, contact their uh, heads together. This may be a mode of infection and a new mode of infection is the taking of uh, selfie pictures. Uh, in which the, the persons are in contact head to head for a uh, 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 long time. Uh, in cases of uh, pediculosis here, the insect is uh, uh, of big size, uh, about four millimeter in uh, uh, size. Uh, but uh, they are few in number. So usually we cannot see the insect itself but we will see this whitish concretes that are stuck to the hair shaft these are the nets or the eggs of the labs. this is a common site of uh, nets in the hair shafts of uh, retroauricular area and the occipital area there will be itching and scratching of the scalp. There may be secondary bacterial infection like nambulus imtigo, crusted imtigo lesions. There may be also uh, lymphadenopathy in severe cases, occipital lymphadenopathy. These are nets, this whitish concrete, and we uh, can differentiate it from dandruff of seborrheic dermatitis. Uh, the dandruff will move away if you uh, uh, move it uh, uh, outside the uh, hair shaft, but here we cannot move these whitish concretes on the uh, hair shaft because they are stuck to the hair shaft. This is a hair in an uh, uh, in a patient with uh, pediculosis, this is a hair shaft, and this is the net or the egg of louse, and this is a cement substance that, that cemented the uh, egg to the hair shaft. Uh, in cases of uh, pediculosis with imtigo, we must uh, first treat the infection, then after one week, after successful treatment of infection, we can use a pediculocyte. We cannot uh, apply the pediculocyte to raw areas of the skin because they are insecticides and have toxic effect. Uh, so uh, the best antibacterial uh, which we, we can use uh, for treatment of 
uh, in Taibu with PDP roses is called rhinoxazole because besides its antibacterial action, it has a pediclucidal action. We also give the patient uh, the topical uh, potassium permanganate as an antiseptic. Uh, the concentration is uh, one over 8,000. Also, we give them uh, uh, sodium fusidate cream. For one week, then we will give them the pediculocytes after treatment of uh, Imtigo. Uh, we may give a gamma benzene hexafluoride 1% shampoo application for uh, half an hour, then uh, washing uh, uh, and uh, ivermectin lotion 1% application overnight and washing in the morning. Also, malasium application in the night and uh, washing in the morning. All these uh, particular sites must be uh, re-applied uh, uh, after one week because they have effect only on the insect uh, and they have uh, no effect on uh, the nets. So after one week, there will be hatching of nets and we can uh, retreat the patient by anti uh, uh, drug uh, so uh, to eradicate the infection. Articaria is a skin disorder that is characterized by formation of uh, wheels. Uh, Articaria may present uh, an example of allergic reaction, type 1 hypersensitivity reaction, uh, on exposure to allergen, which is uh, maybe food or uh, inhaler or insecticide or something like that. Uh, the antigen uh, will cause the production of immunoglobulin E and this immunoglobulin E will be fixed to its uh, receptor uh, on the surface of mast cells or basophils. On re-exposure to the allergen, the allergen will cause bridging between two adjacent uh, particles of uh, immunoglobulin E uh, on the surface of the receptors. This will lead to degranulation of these granules inside the uh, mast cells or basophil and these granules are full of mediators. Uh, the, the most important is histamine. Histamine will cause uh, vasodilatation and increase vascular permeability leading to formation of uh, wheels, angiotema, and the systemic manifestation of uh, articaria. Other types non-allergic uh, articaria, in this uh, condition, the patient may uh, be exposed to, uh, for example, radio contrast media, uh, salicylates, uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, ACE inhibitor. In certain patients, the exposure to uh, these uh, substances, these substances will cause direct mast cell degranulation uh, with the release of the mediators and causing also articaria lesions. So the cause of anticaria may be uh, allergen like uh, food allergens, may be uh, food stuff like eggs, the strawberry, mango, and so on in cases of acute articaria. But in cases of chronic articaria, uh, usually it is due to the food additives more than the food stuff itself, like the preservatives and uh, the color, taste, and odor developer. Uh, drugs causing articaria, the most example, uh, the most important example is penicillin, for example, uh, of course, uh, which may cause even uh, anaphylactic shock in certain uh, patients allergic to penicillin. Other drugs are like salicylates, uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, 
uh, and so on, may cause urticaria. Infections uh, in cases of acute urticaria, the uh, most probable infection is uh, upper respiratory tract streptococcal uh, infections. In cases of chronic urticaria, more chronic infections are responsible for it, uh, like Helicobacter pylori infection, chronic sinusitis, uh, or chronic uh, urinary tract uh, infections. Uh, inhalants like house dust and house dust mite. Uh, collagen disease like uh, systemic uh, lupus erythematosus and uh, rheumatoid arthritis may be presented by urticaria. Uh, neoplasm like uh, lymphoma and leukemia may be also presented by urticaria. Medical diseases, uh, especially uh, thyroid disease uh, and uh, liver and kidney diseases may be presented by urticaria lesions. Physical urticaria is caused by physical uh, factors like uh, pressure, uh, heat, cold, and so on. Uh, psychogenic urticaria is a, an important cause for urticaria, like anxiety and depression. Uh, after uh, searching for all these causes, uh, there is a group of patients uh, which have uh, no cause, and they were, those were uh, called uh, idiopathic urticaria. But now, uh, more than 60% uh, of those patients are found to be due to autoimmune cause of urticaria, in which there is autoantibodies directed to immunoglobulin E, or more commonly directed towards the IgE receptors. The characteristic lesion is wheel and wheel uh, is defined as evanescent. Evanescent means transient, that is the individual lesion will not uh, continue for more than 24 hours. Uh, the lesions may, uh, the patient may have the disease for more than years in cases of chronic urticaria, but if you ask him about an individual lesion, it will not uh, have a duration for more than 24 hours. It may disappear from an area and reappear in another, but uh, the individual lesion will not continue for 24 hours. Uh, it is usually itchy lesion, erysematous, edematous lesions of variable size, shape, and size. Here the patient has arterial wheels, erysematous, edematous uh, wheels here. Uh, on feeding, they will feed from the center, leaving uh, uh, some annular patterns like that. Besides the articarial uh, lesions, the wheels, uh, the patient has also edema affecting the lips and eyelids. This is called angioedema. It is uh, a, a lesion due to uh, dermal or deep dermal or hypodermal edema. Uh, uh, of the areas with loose uh, areolar connective tissue, like the eyelids, the lips, the genitalia. Uh, these uh, edematous lesions are, co uh, are called angioedema. In cases of uh, urticaria, 45% of patients of urticaria are presented with urticarial wheels only. 45% may be like this patient, uh, presented with articarial wheels and angioedema, and 10% may be presented by only angioedema. A child with uh, multiple articarial uh, wheels, with some of them will, uh, are showing uh, annular pattern. Also, articarial lesions in a child, itchy, erysematous, edematous lesions. The individual lesion uh, have uh, the duration of less than 24 hours. Also, arterial lesions in child. General symptoms of arteria: gastrointestinal uh, symptoms due to uh, uh, edema of the uh, mucosa of the gastrointestinal tract. It will be in the form of nausea, vomiting, and dysphagia. Uh, a 
affection of uh, respiratory tract is maybe hoarseness of voice uh, wheezing dyspnea also cardiovascular system affection due to vasodilatation extensive vasodilatation there may be hypertension Special types of urticaria, patient may have uh, angioedema only in 10% of uh, patients. Uh, dermographism is uh, the, uh, known as uh, writing uh, on the skin by blunt pressure on the skin. The site you uh, uh, apply blunt pressure on the skin will give urticaria lesions will be formed within minutes. Uh, cold urticaria due to exposure to cold, aquagenic urticaria due to exposure to water, whatever the temperature of water, cholinergic urticaria occurs uh, by uh, asking the patient to do muscular exercise and when the patient is exposed to uh, stressful condition. Uh, it occurs with uh, sweating. Uh, they are in the form of uh, minute erythematous edematous uh, itchy lesions. Uh, solar urticaria due to exposure to sun. Contact urticaria is a most common example for contact urticaria is the exposure to jellyfish. The area of contact with jellyfish is there will be uh, erythema and edema. Uh, serum sickness is uh, a disease may be caused by uh, exposure to uh, serum, antitonic serum, for example. Uh, the patient will uh, complain of uh, articarial wheels that uh, will be chronic and uh, arthritis, uh, fever, and uh, may uh, be uh, renal affection. This is a patient with uh, angioedema only, without beans. There are extensive edema of the eyelids and the lips. It's a dangerous sign because this edema, if extended to uh, uh, the uh, larynx, it may cause suffocation. So rapid interference by adrenaline and other antihistamines must uh, be uh, directed to this patient. This cholinergic urticaria with minute erythematous edematous papules surrounding the orifices of sweat ducts. Positive dermographies by applying uh, blunt pressure to the skin. Uh, we draw this X shape by blunt pressure uh, so uh, it uh, will cause wheeling at the site of pressure, like you see. Heave is a synonym of articarial wheels. So uh, by plant pressure, we wrote on the skin uh, that uh, uh, the, uh, the, this HIVE, it appears as articarial wheels on the skin. Also this Lines by plant pressure are formed by erythema and edema after pressure on the skin. Pressure articaria caused by pressure of bruises. Cold articaria by application of a tube of ice, erythema and edema started to appear under the area exposed to a tube of ice. The course of urticaria, acute urticaria, uh, continues for hours or days. Chronic urticaria or urticaria uh, with more than six weeks duration. Uh, this type of urticaria needs uh, investigations to know the cause, if, it, if there is infection, if there is uh, allergen causing uh, urticaria and other causes, system causes. Treatment of urticaria. The gold standard in 
treatment of any allergic condition is the, uh, to know the cause and remove the, uh, or stop the uh, exposure to this cause. Uh, in cases of severe urticaria, we may use uh, adrenaline. Uh, it is given uh, as half centimeter subcutaneously uh, every 30 minutes for four to five times until uh, disappearance of urticaria wheels and angioedema. Antihistamines, we give it uh, in the form of oral uh, uh, antihistamines in cases of uh, moderate cases of urticaria, in severe cases we can give it uh, as intramuscular or intravenous injection. Calcium gluconate may cause stabilization of the uh, mast cell and be used as uh, intravenous, uh, slowly uh, 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 intravenous injection. Systemic steroids in the form of tablets in cases of moderate lesions and in the form of uh, intramuscular or intravenous injection in cases of severe uh, cases. Topically, we can use 1% uh, mentol in calamine lutein. Mentol will cause uh, vasoconstriction of the uh, blood vessel with resolution of the articaria lesions. The last disease we'll talk about is papular articaria. This is hypersensitivity reaction to insect bites, usually to fleas or mosquito bites. It occurs usually in infants and children. Uh, the lesions in the form of itchy, erysematous, edematous papules uh, with or without vesicles. The vesicle will appear in the center uh, of the lesions. Uh, with itching, there may be a secondary infection in the form of uh, uh, crusted lesions. Uh, the size usually on the limbs, on the waist, uh, 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 with uh, affection of the trunk, usually on the waist. Uh, this is uh, acute papular articaria. The lesions are in the form of erysematous edematous papules with uh, the center uh, starting to form vesiculation, collection of visible uh, clear uh, fluid in the center of the lesion. It is itchy lesions. These are itchy lesions. Course of papular articaria. If the patient uh, uh, continues to stay in the area of uh, insects, uh, there may be a resolution of uh, the lesion in most of patients uh, and this uh, is a form of desensitization uh, of the patient uh, begins to uh, uh, have no allergy towards the insect bite after that. In certain persons, usually the atopic persons, it will be transformed into the chronic form of papilla articaria known as the Periorigo of Hebra. Periorigo of Hebra. Periorigo of Hebra may be considered a, a type of uh, atopic dermatitis. These are the criteria for the use of uh, atopic uh, dermatitis. Uh, three of these four uh, criteria will uh, diagnose atopic dermatitis if containing the first one. So, pruritus or itching is present in uh, cases of prurigo fibra. So, number one is present. Uh, but the typical morphology and distribution for age in cases of atopic dermatitis, the typical morphology and distribution in cases of uh, children, which are the age group affected by prurigo fibra, uh, the lesions will be in the flexures of uh, joints. Uh, like the antipubital fossa, the axillae, the sides of the neck, and so on, which are not affected here in prurigo of fibra. So this criteria is not present, but the lesions of prurigo fibra have the uh, force of chronic or chronically relapsing dermatitis. So if the patient have a personal history of other form of atopy, uh, you know, 
atopy is a hereditary disease characterized by formation of high IgE against common environmental uh, allergen uh, and characterized by one or more of three diseases, bronchial asthma, allergic rhinitis, and atopic dermatitis. So if the patient have a personal history of other form of atopy like bronchial asthma or allergic rhinitis or any one of his close relatives uh, have uh, any form of atopy like bronchial asthma, allergic rhinitis or atopic dermatitis or if the patient have high levels of IgE we can consider this patient uh, as a form of atopic dermatitis. This is a patient of uh, Prago fibra or uh, chronic form of atopic dermatitis. Uh, there is itchy, shorty papules. These shorty papules are felt more than seen. Uh, of large numbers, affecting the externs, uh, extensor surfaces of the extremities, upper and lower extremities. Besides these lesions, the patient started to have light kinified lesions, as you see. Due to chronic itching, there are changes in the skin. There is uh, the, the pigmentation, uh, increased thickness of the skin, and exaggeration of skin markings. These are likenified uh, changes of the skin due to chronic itching. Besides the skin, the patient may have uh, axillary and uh, groin uh, lymphadenopathy inguinal lymphadenopathy also. Treatment of papillary urticaria, we must treat uh, or avoid exposure to the clothes, which is insect bites, so uh, the general uh, method of uh, treatment is disinfestation. Uh, we can use mosquito uh, nets during sleep to avoid exposure to uh, insecticides or change the environment into the area uh, without insects. Uh, uh, the drugs we will uh, use uh, uh, systemic antihistamine, oral uh, antihistamines, and typically we can use uh, steroids with uh, antibiotics to guard against secondary bacterial infection. In severe cases which will not respond to topical treatment, we can give short courses of corticosteroids. We can read to this. This is case which we have seen in case scenario and first part of the lecture. So uh, beside the itching, which is more by night, on examination, the patient has affection of the webs of finger by polymorphic eruption, asymptous papules, scratch marks, the rest of joints, are affected, scratch marks also, and excoriated papules. The other sites that must be seen are the classic sites for affection with scabies, beside uh, the webs of fingers and the uh, flexor aspect of wrist joints. You must see uh, the anticryptic fossae, the uh, axillary, uh, the uh, around the umbilicus. Uh, you, you must see the buttocks, uh, medial aspects of the thigh and dorsi of feet. In females, you must see the breast, the areola of the breast, uh, and in male, we must see the male genitalia. The types of lesions, polymorphic lesions, as we see. Uh, erysematous, articarial papules, uh, scratch marks, excoriated papules, scandi bacteria infection in the form of crusted lesions. 
so the diagnosis is skipped. These are the answers of the questions. So uh, in this uh, lecture, uh, we have uh, we uh, talk about uh, articaria, papilla articaria, scabies, and pudicle lupus. All these are itchy. Uh, skin disease. You can uh, search for other itchy skin diseases and differentiate them from uh, these four uh, diseases. For further reading, you can uh, look up for this uh, reference. Thank you for your attention.